All right, this is a continuation of the uh, pulse generator that was designed by Slayer 007 G. Bluer. And um, this is just the generator part of it without the CFL circuit added in. And I added in a little uh, voltage regulator to control voltage and ampere on the uh, system. And uh, that is uh, right there. That's a little... Um, voltage regulator that is a switching step-down regulator that's a 90 percent efficient and you control it with a little screw on the top now I've got this dial down you can't see that very well but that's about five volts folks and we're drawing uh, less than a hundred milliamps and there's your source voltage that's the source battery and this is the standing voltage on the capacitor right here at the five volts you can see the the light is glowing right there and that's a loaded capacitor that's a 1300 microfarad 100 volt which is different than what Slayer is using so I'm getting different results than him uh, partly because of my bifiller coil and just the setup that I've got is different than his but this uh, voltage regulator has allowed me to reduce the amount of, of energy coming out of that battery if you watch my last video I showed it on the Aussie Calinan um, circuit. It was a little bit clearer, but um, this was kind of neat to be able to drop the voltage down and still keep a certain voltage that you wanted on the capacitor. And I can um, dial this down even further and take this down to about 20 volts or so. There she goes. And at that point, I'm going to stop this, and then uh, we're going to turn on the battery. Okay, that's about where a solar panel sits, 2021 20, volts when it's unloaded. Now I've got a load on this. Now you can see the thing is still glowing, and I'll take the the load off and watch the uh, voltage on the cap go up. There goes the voltage on the cap. This will just climb right on up, just like on Slayer's uh, video. But I'll put the load back on it here. Now when this gets back down to around 20 volts, I'll connect the charging battery. That's this one here. It's a 13 volt um, lead acid uh, charging battery. And uh, okay, now we're down to the right voltage. I'm going to connect this. Okay, there's voltage on the battery. I'll turn this to a different scale. And when I turn off the capacitor, you will see this climb up. Now, this is what I wanted to do was get something that would still charge, but would have a reduction on the amount of energy coming out of the source battery. And that's what I've done with this little... Uh, uh, switching adjustable step down voltage regulator you get it at dimension engineering online it's a $15 item and you can see I've got this uh, dialed well, I guess about three or four volts here now on this thing and uh, that plus the amp draw is what gives you the wattage output of your system that's going into driving this oscillator and uh, like I say, this is not as good as it should be. The, the primary winding is, I, I think, two or 300 windings on this. It should be 700 windings. So I don't have a very efficient uh, bifiler coil. That's the little neo magnet there that is extremely finicky with these relays. Uh, or, I'm sorry, these uh, reed switches. Getting it dialed in is very difficult on this system. That's its Achilles heel. That's the downfall right there is getting that to, to run consistently. But you can see the voltage on the uh, charge battery has gone on up here. And I can make that climb even higher if I increase the, the um, voltage on the system. Let me draw, draw this up a little bit. I'll put this up about 6 volts. Okay, there we're at about 6 volts. And now this will climb on up. Now, watch me. I'm going to turn the capacitor back on here and disconnect the charge battery and watch the voltage on the cap. There goes voltage on the cap. It just went off scale. Turn this up. Okay, now um, I can put that anywhere I want to with this um, 
adjustable um, voltage regulator. And like I say, what I, I want to do is I want to put this just where it needs to be to charge the battery that I'm trying to charge. So like if I wanted to try a 24 volt situation, I'd dial this up probably at about 27 to 30 volts. If I wanted to charge a 10 volt, I'll dial this to about uh, 13, 14 volts. And that's what I like about this, is it lets you control the amount of energy coming out of the source battery. And that sits on his circuit right here before anything gets into the oscillator, I, I control it. This is like a carburetor, and I can dial in that carburetor with that little adjustment screw right there and control what is going into this. And that's an advantage, I think. But anyway, uh, his, uh, his system here does work. I, I do like it. I think it's a real good uh, good idea. The only problem is getting it so it runs on a consistent basis. And uh, that's a function of this part right here. You'd really have to dial this in to get this to be reliable and to do exactly what you wanted it to do. That's the latest.